feeling like we're gonna fight ya Anything to make the crowd hate ya And I bring the fire like a lighter I'm flexing on you sucker, this is fight club Don't ever try to play me, I'm not with the fun Rookie of the year, and I'm hella young They call me Zombie Ray the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is the very definition of hearsay. Uh, we're going to discuss comments made by Anthony Joshua, or at least comments Eddie Hearn said were made by Anthony Joshua. All right, so check it out. Um, here, Hearn said that Joshua thinks Povetkin could upset the odds in the white fight. And here's the quote from Sky Sports. Um, I spoke to AJ, this is Eddie Hearn speaking, I spoke to AJ who doesn't like this fight for white. He thinks that this is a, ban a banana skin that Pavekin could upset the odds. For white, he has waited over a thousand days for this opportunity, but Pavekin could steal it from under his nose. I still can't believe white is taking these risks. When you sit as the mandatory challenger, what you don't do is fight Joseph Parker, Chisora, Oscar Rivas, and Povetkin while you wait. What is White doing by fighting Povetkin here? This isn't the O2. This will be the strangest environment either guy has ever boxed in. White, time and time again, puts it all on the line. He is the people's champion. Joshua himself will fight before the end of the year around May. Uh, around of the year and may be forced to compete behind closed doors if the crowd continues to be barred from sporting events. So according to Tyson, I mean, according to Eddie Hearn, <laughs> Anthony Joshua believes that Povetkin is a bad fight for uh, Dillian White in that Povetkin might upset him. Trill Dollar Bill, what are your thoughts on the <laughs> second hand <laughs> Joshua comments. Yo, Eddie, stop putting words in AJ's mouth, man. That just sounds like you're just trying to big up Dillian. <laughs> like, I'm sure, I'm sure they cool and all, but come on, man. You probably adding, he added to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that probably be a tough one. <laughs> he, added to, <laughs> he added to what AJ said. AJ was saying at the crib, like, I didn't say all that. Basically, what you're saying is he pulled a G. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he didn't say all that. He, and elaborate, the, uh, he elaborated too hard, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But AJ didn't say all that. You know what I mean? But here's the irony. Stan Pavekin does it. That's what I'm saying. Poor Dilly. Poor, poor Dilly. Poor Dilly. I'm You're trying to tell you, as if he, they gonna ring, they gonna do him dirty. They gonna ring him number ten, or oh, they gonna take him off the top ten at WBC. They don't like him. You know what I'm saying? He's already he's already gonna have to jump over another hurdle after this. I bet you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> poor Dilly. <Dillian. laughs> All right, G. Man, listen here. I don't believe. Yo, yeah, listen. Normally, I could rock with Eddie, but that was just too much. It was like yeah, that was um, too much. That's clear as day. AJ didn't say half that. I mean, I probably <laughs> believe the first sentence where he was like, he don't like the matchup between Dillian and, and Pavekin, and that's where the AJ quote stopped right there. Stop. <laughs> but I will say this though: if Pavekin beats Dillian, bro. I'm going to tell y'all this right now. Yo, Dillian and Dillian's people, Eddie, this is what you do. You call 1-800-BOXING-BROS-USA. We will counsel your man off of that, <laughs> that, that ledge. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I've been man. there. I haven't been on that. But you know what I mean? I jump off <laughs> all the time on that show. So I can convince your man, don't panic. You know what I'm saying? Do not jump off that window. And like, don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> don't <panic. laughs> box, it doesn't mean your career, your boxing career over. It just yeah. means, hey, bro, it's, them belts weren't meant to be. It wasn't in the cards. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't in the stars. You know, it, it's all right. But yeah, let's don't let Ned talk to him if he's at the top of that building. All of a sudden, you just want to hear. Glass <laughs> <laughs> everywhere, a car missing a roof. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to convince him. what happened. Y'all wore the gray hoodie by accident. <laughs> <laughs> and they would be like, yo, how could you do that, man? Everything, everything you're for. You're never going to do that. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, but yo, man, Eddie, you need to stop. Yo, honestly, Eddie, you need to stop this, man. Stop, stop, um, using AJ's names as talking points and everything. That's crazy. Like AJ didn't say all of that, man. So we need to stop <laughs> that. But I will say this: I think AJ is like, I do believe AJ is probably like the Dillian situation is crazy. For all we know, AJ probably tells Dillian, poor Dillian, to his face, because it, it just sounds odd that. He does not get an opportunity. It's crazy. And then if Pavekin wins, <laughs> man, I don't know what to say. Man. Change your name legally to Poor Dillian. <laughs> Nick, man, first I want to say shout out to Dillian. I didn't even pay attention to his, like his resume and those look Parker, Chisora, Revis, and now Pavekin. Man, that you know, I, honestly, he has a better resume than. A lot of that. I was. You know who you want to say? We know. He, I, would, I would rank him number two. I would rank him number two. Number two best heavyweight <laughs> out here. I would just say that. Oh, you rank Dillian White number two best heavyweight? Out if, if, if Fury, if Fury didn't come out of retirement, you know, it's just Fury's the asterisk. Fury's Fury just does whatever he wants. He's not. He's like he doesn't even want to fight these guys, but. No, I get what you're saying, though. I mean, there could be an argument that yeah. White has better names than um, Fury. Fury got Fury got two big ones. Yeah, Fury then, got two huge ones. Well, one's huge, the other one's big. Yeah, he, nah, got, he, got, got, he, got, he got two big ones. He yeah, got he two, got two big, big ones. ones. Two big, bro. Bro. Well, see, this is, this is the point I was trying to make to you before, G. It doesn't matter what I know about Wilder. Or what I believe about Wilder. It's the perception. public, the public. I, I, you know me, man. I was just playing devil's the advocate. Public, I knew how you, public, how you felt. And I was like, I can't lose this argument. So that's why I pitched it to you that way. Because I wanted you to commit to be like, nah, Wilder's a bum. Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Nah, the boy. public. Smart, you know what I mean? The public felt like he was the baddest man. He's the hardest puncher in boxing history. The public ate that up. So you can't take that away from Fury now and be like, oh, well, we, well, Wilder's a bum. The people who thought Wilder was a bum can keep saying Wilder was a bum. But everyone who thought he was that guy, y'all got to give Fury credit for beating that guy. That's the way it is. So but, two big names. So no, it like, that, a, that yeah. Dillian just doesn't have. Yeah, he has two, yeah. two big names, Dillian. Two names that made him a superstar. But Dillian does have consistent yeah. top-tier competition in the ring and names that you know that were even absent on Wilder's resume, but Wilder captured the imagination of the public with his knockouts. You know, those knockouts that would go viral on YouTube. So you gotta, uh, you know, you gotta give, you gotta give. Fury yeah, all right. so he would be number rank number three right now. I'll give him that. He would actually, he's literally the number three best, the third best heavyweight in the in the division. And shout out to Dylan for that, but. If he, I don't, I don't even want to speak that, but Dillian, yo, I hope you trained hard enough. You, you ate your Wheaties, you did everything you had to, you watched a lot of footage, and you prepared uh, directly for Pavekin. I, I could argue that Pavekin got a better resume than Dillian, you know what I'm saying? Because if we're just... Yeah, going, I, I would say, I, no, well, I would pick, I would pick Ruiz. Ruiz? Nah. Ruiz the Joshua. argument, though, yeah, that's a good argument. Pavekin got... Oh, actually, you're right, because Ruiz at least... Hey, Ruiz, yeah, right. Ruiz, Ruiz right. got a win. He got a, he got a win over He got a huge and, one. And, and, he got and a huge Dillian one. Got so. Dillian, Dillian's probably number five, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause, yo, cause I think Pavekin he's like five. Probably better, because at least Pavekin fought Klitschko. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. lost, but he fought him. He can't give him credit just because he took the fight and yeah. lost. But if that's the case, if that's Dillian. the case, hold on. You, see, you, you backed yourself in the corner. Put some respect on Chisora's name. Thank you. No, I'm just, I'm going based off of what. Well, I would, I would, I would, but I agree. I would I, pick him. I would pick him to be five. Like, I would I'm pick saying, right now, Dillian to be five. Because I, I got I got Parker over Dillian. Even though he beat him, I still think that Parker is the better fighter. Yeah, yo, Parker's up there. Like, Parker's up there. But other that's than a, that's a, Parker, like I said, if you watch that fight and you're being honest with yourself, White was lucky to win. White was lucky to walk out of that fight when he did. Because if, if this was the old days when you fought 15, I think Parker would have stopped him. But I, I, um, I give him Parker. But but who else? Who are you giving him, uh, Ned? 
I give him Chisora. I give him. Uh, nah, Chisora's a good. Chisora's nah, he's like, like, he is, but yo, know, bro, a lot of the top ten dudes will lay him out. That nah, man, come on, fellas. Nah, I just, give him Reeves. That Reeves fight was solid. No, nah, Reeves is a good fight, man. I, yeah, I guess. And we'll see against Vivek in this Saturday, man. I just give him did. Lucas too. Lucas Brown was Lucas Brown was uh he was getting he was getting people out of there. Yeah, you know my fear is if, if he beats Pavekin on some like decisive win, people are gonna be like, oh, Pavek is 40 years old, bro. He's washed up. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's such it, really don't matter. it don't matter though. Everybody, everybody who stepped in the ring with Pavekin couldn't get Pavekin out of there. And if you're gonna give Wilder credit for uh Luis Ortiz, I better not hear that coming from people who give Wilder credit for Luis Ortiz. <laughs> now please, I better not hear it from them. But oh uh, this is just to get him my thing. When I hear these comments from Eddie Hearn and he's putting them in AJ's mouth, it makes me think, well, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Knowing that like you promote Dillian and you promote AJ. Because he's lying. So Eva, your motive is to try to sell the public on Pavekin being a really dangerous fight. Yes. Or two, you're trying to speak it into existence. Maybe, because why Why would you say it? Maybe you're trying to speak it into existence. I mean, I know people are going to be like, whatever, but you have to think on a certain wave, right? If I manage Dillian White, and he's what stands in the way of me making the biggest fight that can be made in boxing, that fight's already signed, already sealed, and already agreed to, right? A tentative agreement. If Dillian loses, we keep talking about poor Dillian, poor Dillian. Well, it is it is poor Dillian, but that's a great thing for Fury and a great thing for Joshua. Because if he loses to Povetkin, I can see Povetkin saying, Joshua already smashed me. I want no parts of Fury. Give me that step aside money. Thanks. Do your thing. I'll be here waiting. <laughs> <laughs> right, so maybe, maybe Eddie Hearn wouldn't be so sad to see Alexander Povek and beat Dilly. That's why you can't trust these promoters, man. They double talkers, man. They'll say whatever to promote a fight. Now, I'm not. Yeah, he trying to, he trying to get fight. some. He trying to get they people to watch that this. fight, son. Like I promise you, all the rumors you heard about Povek and being old <laughs> is not true. He's dangerous. <laughs> AJ yeah. even said it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, but what I'm saying is, you know, you, you're speaking that type of stuff. Now, I don't know which one it is. I don't believe anybody wants to see their fighter lose. I'm just throwing a different – I'm just throwing a thought out there, not saying he wants Dillian to lose, but saying would he really be that mad if Dillian did lose? I don't know. I don't Yo, know. Eddie Pavekin's promoter? Who? Eddie Hearn. I don't know who's Pavekin's promoter, but he might be. If he is, this is this is crazy. This is so crazy. see, but if Eddie's Pavekin's if Eddie's Pavekin's kind of promoter, <laughs> that makes it even more. It what don't I'm matter saying. to him. You know what I'm saying? Bro, he's throwing everyone's name under the bus. <laughs> yo, yo, Eddie, but if Eddie really wanted to sell this fight, Eddie would be like, you gonna see Peg Vekin. Yeah. for this fight. You know what I mean? That would be like, yo, we say, yo, no testing. Right. Okay. No. No straight boxing. <laughs> Ass shots in boxing. You know what I mean? <laughs> please, please let us know how you feel and check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. This is the Boxing Bros. Yo, thank you for taking this out, Troy. I guarantee you some, someone's going to write in the comments. It's still recording. It's still recording. Yeah, I know. I guarantee you someone's going to write in the uh, comments, Caden said, Eddie want White to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> Catch me creeping down the dark street. Yeah, yeah. This is where it means the zombies yeah, meet. Guarantee we all going to eat. Yeah. A zombie red again with HD. I'm a zombie in the night, you better run for me. Zombie red in the house, you better run, homie. Brought a mask and some gloves with some thugs with me. I came to do damage, you wanna purge with me. Super Saiyan zombie, I'll be.